We're Victor and Joanna, and over the last year we've transformed this narrow boat from rusty wreck to a floating coffee shop. Now we've set off to start our journey on the long and winding British canals. Join us as we take on the challenges that our new floating venture has to offer. <laughs> Action! Huh? Let's see if it's ready first. Oh, oh I don't know. It's alright. Not ready? Um, perhaps not ready quite just yet. <laughs> And action. Okay, let's go for it. This one I didn't put flour on the top of. So it's used as noodiness. How's that? Pretty good, I think. Yeah, a farmhouse loaf, we'll call it. How is it keeping up with the demand for bread on this boat? It's a full time job. <laughs> How many um, layers of pajamas are you wearing at the minute? Kimono, woolen. Well, whatever that is, fleecy, modal, three. <laughs> the temperature's just dropped and I'm, we really don't want to keep, like, thought the fire days were over and we could pack it all away. We get so excited when that happens because it's just like one less thing to think about and it's just so nice, like all the dust goes away, mm. put some candles on it, pretend it's just a decorative item in the corner <laughs> of the room. Um, so... I'm sure that everyone's in the same boat and they've been getting, um, you know, false starts on spring. Yeah. But this is the last dip, I'm sure of it. It's mid-April coming up too. The rest of the boat at the moment is giving over to wood drying. I went out earlier and found some wood that had been just chopped down by the towpath. Foraged it, brought it back processed it the greatest thing is happening we were just about to we were just googling like um, where we could get coal because we've got all this wood but it's not that dry yet and we've got a few minus two nights coming up and um we just heard a coal boat we haven't seen one of these all year because we haven't been in like one of the catchment areas so um we're pretty excited you can really hear them coming along the like the chug 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 because they're all traditional boats so i think vic's gonna Hop to it, are you? Yeah, definitely. That's great, isn't it? So good, such good timing. Yeah, really good timing. It's as if they knew. This is perfect. They're also towing one boat behind the other. All of these fuel boats and working boats are experts at all this. We're not. If he's friendly, I'm gonna try and ask him. Yeah, <laughs> hold him up it. for a bit. Where is he now? I think he's stopped at the boat ahead. Oh. Christmas day for everyone. Oh God, that is just brilliant. I'm making some gnocchi for lunch. That's right, I said lunch. I should probably um, get out of my pyjamas, but I'm sure he's used to this by now, especially this year. Who's changed out of their pyjamas? I commend you. This is so exciting that you're here. We were just running out yeah, of everything. You've saved her life, really. <laughs> yeah, how old are they? These are 1959 and 1960. They're Admiral class boats. They were the last working boats built. Well, one of the last working boats. Yeah. They've got funny fronts on them. Yeah. And funny yeah. back ends on them. The idea yeah, the is to carry are really more round. on less water. Yeah. Yeah, right. You still get stuck. You still get grounded. <laughs> 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 and that's just the way it is. <laughs> what sort of coal would you like? Just that XL would be great. Yeah. How many would you like? How many should it, I always go lower, but Joe tells me it's going to be cold for ages, isn't it? Let's face yeah. it. Three, three bags. Three. Yeah, that'd yeah. Be great. Could you fit that on in that line of work? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right. I suppose. Shuffle on the bus a bit. And... Mm. 
Awesome. Is that called a special kind of this like? Is, that's an Ellen. And this is the, well, for want of a better term, the Ellen stick. It's, it's the, uh, the tiller. Yeah. Yeah, one good whack and it would just fall to bits because <laughs> it is one. They don't last very long. We might get a steel one done. Desperately need repainting. Have you painted this? Yeah, yeah, I do all of this. Wow. You can see the table and stuff in there. Oh, can I have a yeah, pocket? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Riley, go lie down. You won't really. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Did he grow a hound? Yeah. So, do you have customers come along? Not yet. We were. That's what we were planning. But um, at the moment, we've just got a sofa in there. Yeah. Got some gas there. Are you getting towing tips? Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The um, camera ran out of battery, so I didn't quite get um, all of that exchange. Well, the camera went crazy on me, but um, how cool. So we've got diesel now, gas and coal to keep us warm. And that's Ruth and Richard on there. So Richard does the, um, the fuel boat part of the business and Ruth has a gift shop. Um, so does like canal art and does like canal art commissions and she does the roses and castles so that was pretty cool she's done like loads of that on their boats and in the boatman's cabin but yeah that was so nice to meet some of the traders yeah cool we're having a bit of a uh, doing stuff on the boat day today so we've got wood drying I was just doing some washing up. I'm gonna uh, do some sweeping. We can't do enough sweeping on this boat. No. Especially when, while we're burning wood or anything like that. It's just like a, you're fighting against a real force there. So we're trying to dry out some of this wood. We've got some of it drying out in the oven which is a, a trick I learned a few years ago from a uh, tree surgeon bloke who lived on a boat. Obviously he had loads of wood and um, it's not ideal but then again we didn't know we were going to run into coal merchants so we thought we were going to have to fend for ourselves out here. One thing out of place on a boat looks like a complete mess doesn't it? Yeah and like in the kitchen once like you've used like that bowl to make bread the kitchen's a mess yeah. immediately. You can't have any washing up on the boat whatsoever that you haven't done yet because it just makes the whole place look so untidy so it just forces you to really keep on top of stuff like that because otherwise the boat just descends into chaos. And it's kind of like when if you if you wake up and there's like something out in the kitchen it just doesn't start your day off good. Yeah. Like it's already a small space so then I think if you come out and there's extra if there's like clutter or something it's um it does something yeah something. yeah it's not good for the old it's knee chi isn't it no it's not chi <laughs> <laughs> do you want a peanut butter sandwich yes please also doing a little bit of editing today this is the ancient computer that we use it's not ancient it's about six years old or something like that i think and then i sit on this stool sort of intentionally uncomfortable arrangement because you don't want to get too comfy editing otherwise it just takes up your whole day you need to stay fidgety i think in my experience it's got to be one of the main reasons we like it here so much isn't it yeah definitely when it gets to this that time of day when the sun's coming like going into sunset mode. It makes the boat so lovely and nice. Yeah. It reminds me of when we were, like last year where we were, just wherever you've got that full sky where you can see the horizon. Yeah. So nice. What's going on here? 
that's just a lot of cabbage. We're making bubble and squeak. But this is um, a, a Vic's mum special. <laughs> so I feel very conscious of uh, <laughs> producing something to that standard. I was going to ring her and say, like, what order do we do things in here, Jan? <laughs> I might still. That's pretty good. What's going on? <laughs> well, we've had a pretty, we just sort of opened on the, on the hoof, on the off chance today, kind of, didn't we really? Yeah, let me just. Oh yeah. Copyright oh, reasons, you understand. Please. <laughs> uh, but what a lovely day. Yeah, it's been a great day for coffee. Yeah. And a great day for meeting people. Tell the people who we've met. Oh my goodness. We've had such nice like people come down today. Look what somebody brought us down to say thanks for... But they said it was to say thanks for the videos. I think so cool. It, that she's an artist. They're both artists, basically. They, this couple who came down to see us. And they're like, oh... Um, you know, would you like one of our prints? This is amazing, like she paint, she painted this. Yeah, and it's so cool. I don't know if I can do it justice here. But I'm gonna put this in as a little bit of flattery to us is that she had said that uh, her subject quite a lot of the time is, is light and stuff like that, and that sort of subtle light. And she said that in watching our videos, she sort of saw that we were interested in the same thing. <laughs> Well, I don't know if she was saying, you know, just the fact that. that filming something is letting light into a lens. <laughs> I think, yeah. As, but I think, yeah, like, yeah. you took it more like, <laughs> am I an artist? <laughs> <laughs> what have I created? I definitely did take it like that. So you say, you, you're kind of saying that we're all, we're almost sort of artistic equals, aren't we, really? <laughs> <laughs> but that is mega. I'm quite, I was quite... Um, I mean, overwhelmed isn't even too strong a word, I don't go, think. Go, Catrick, go. quite overwhelmed. She told us that the first paint that she puts on is it. So a work in progress just looks like a blank page uh, where it's unfinished. It was so impressive. It's pretty wild. Pretty wildly impressive. Our son is also thinking about doing a boat business, being a tattoo artist on uh, narrowboats. Which I think excellent, brilliant idea. More power to the boat people. Come hmm. on, come on, guys! If you've got a business idea, put it on a boat. Now we're talking. <laughs> you know what I mean, license to print money, mate. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> You'll never lose. Oh, green is happening on the trees. We've evidently stayed a little bit longer than we should here, but. Uh, is that your cup of tea? Yes. I'd never make myself a peppermint tea, but whenever you do, I'm always then really, I'm into it. Yeah. A lovely day, lovely to meet the people of Branston Water Park. A lot of soft drinks today. Yeah, which marks the beginning of a new yeah. season perhaps. Some people have even been asking about ice cream and ice lollies. <gasps> So we need to get on that. That's yeah. something we're going to have to do this week. It's time, isn't it? Yeah, everything to do with the um, cafe bot probably takes much longer than we think to like think out, route plan, tell people where we are. So we're um, we feel extremely slack at it at the moment, but we're just learning. So this week we know we have to make another big order because we've sold out of most of our soft drinks. Just need to get um, all stuff like that, which is the fun bit that we kn it, we knew it would be like a fun way, um, a fun little learning curve because it's so different getting supplies and deliveries delivered to a moving cafe boat. Well, we bought three bottles of milk this morning. I kind of uh, made the resolution that we would stay open until we sold out and we're this close. We've got that much milk left until we can... Uh... It's two lattes or four cappuccinos. There you go. But it's pretty, pretty quiet. Mm. 
got a business idea. Put it on a boat. Now we're talking. You'll never lose. But lots of people have come down here for the first time. Yeah. And are just like, wow, this place is so nice. I think, yeah, that is why we stayed here. Yeah. But we're going to have to move off soon because we've, we're overstaying our welcome. The sign over this morning says 48 hours. We've been here for a few more hours than that. But uh, we've used this time to try and get like a little bit ahead with the videos, not too ahead, but just uh, give us a week in hand so that we're not uh, up until like three in the morning editing on Thursday night. But that means that our location won't be true to the videos. So, but it will be on Instagram. Instagram's the place to go then for up to date We'll news. put a link and we'll make sure that it's public. Well, that little bit of milk may be destined for tomorrow, we're starting a, a gentle clean down. Yeah, just in case someone wants to come and take that last bit. Yeah, we'll see if that provokes the old... Uh... Yeah, let's jinx it. Yeah. Could be. There's some movement. Hiya. Hi. Well, it's like a charm, that. It's starting to pack down. One tea and one hot chocolate, yeah. Customers will come. How you doing? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. There we go. Thank you. Well, that's it. That's yeah. what's needed. That's the milk gone. Almost. We could do. If someone came along and wanted one cup of tea Ooh. with milk. Come on. <laughs> Roll <wants> up. <laughs> There is actually someone there. Mm. You deterred her. Yeah, probably shouldn't go shouting out the window. Come on, he wants it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging up my apron. That's it. The working day is done. How satisfying is this place to clean down, given that it's all stainless steel? And... I am so glad of these stainless steel things that I think um, on the next boat we might try and make it a design feature of the kitchen because <laughs> this upstand is um, so useful for spills and anything. It's really good. It's an absolute dream. That's the kind of cleaning fluid that we have to pass through the the coffee machine to just to get it clean and I think sterilized or something like that. I don't actually know what it does. It's like a quartz thing, which I don't know what is either. It occurs to me now. Don't really know much about what I'm talking about. But to pack down and clean up and everything from a, from a day at the cafe takes us about an hour, doesn't it? Or an hour and a half if we're doing like a bit more of a deep clean, cleaning fridges and things like that. Did you turn the inverter off? Yeah. Good question, well asked. This is, well, I don't know if we've really pointed this out yet, probably because uh, it's boring. But in the early days, people were wondering about our security. But don't worry. There's nobody more paranoid about boat security than me. This was actually really fun. We made this, well, with the help of Paul Bailey, our esteemed colleague from the Error Wash Moorings, who, and top legend, really, Paul Bailey. Uh, we sort of machined this up for ourselves. I say machined. It's an angle grinder. It's the best <laughs> machine. <laughs> right. Such a piece? Yeah. Oh yeah, a couple of boats here. Joined the party. This is a hot spot. We've made it so. <laughs> Nobody knew this place existed before us. We're gonna have um, pizza time. Yeah, that pub at the bridge is doing, I think we know they sell pizzas, it's quite Italian menu. And we had a pizza, do we admit this? Oh. <laughs> we had a pizza the other night and it was delicious. 
so nice. So we're going again. Definitely going to do the same again. So after, uh, I mean, after a hard day's slog in the cafe, the last thing you want to do is cook yourself dinner. Goat's cheese and fig. <laughs> <laughs> This is how we round off a day at the cafe boat. Oh, loudy, loudy. That is fresh. Professionalism, <laughs> oh, please. The airboards are here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't ask me to do it again. <laughs> Can you just, if you just lift them up above your head, do a cartwheel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, these are so cool. They look we mega. Of course we are. And you won't say anything because you're professional. <laughs> no, They're brilliant. They look incredible. They're brilliant. Oh, this is what mega. Are. This is a major step up. It's going to look a lot more legitimate. Oh, oh man. Unfortunately. Oh, it's so good. This like instantly, I feel like, transforms it into a proper business. Yeah. 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 So you could go pale blue on the inside, cream with the touches of red on here, and then black there, so that so that it's your it's your yeah. colours. Yeah. They're brilliant. They're brilliant. I even love the like effect of the sanded ply. I know. I kind yeah. of don't want to. Yeah. I don't know how you'd like draw on that, but you kind of just want to keep it like that, don't you? Not even have blackboard. Yeah, just keep it. So bright. Yeah. You know something? One of the you're sort of saying what I say. One of the worst things about one of the best things about being a woodworker is you create something out of new wood or old wood or whatever, and it looks great. Then you have that time when you just put some varnish on, and it starts spoiling it. Yeah, and yeah. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel yours anymore. It's like you've lost that connection. It started being a bit more professional and a bit more. Yeah. Anybody could do it sort of thing. You're covered in dust. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I just looked down. Yeah, sorry. That's the environment. Ah, they look mega. We can't yeah. thank you enough for them, really. Thank that's you so properly, much for yeah. You're welcome. That's made You're it welcome. great. It's good fun. Would you like chocolate on your cappuccinos? Can you see the snow coming in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect drinks for this weather. There you are. Thank you. Thanks very much. Cheers. See you later. Well, somewhere in that uh, melee, we, we lost Jamie. Maybe we lost him in the storm. That sounds a bit um, final. <laughs> Jamie's alive. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's just gone home. I'm not sure how much of him uh, going we actually managed to get. It's been snowing and then sunshine today and then loads of families have come up and stuff like that. It's been really good. Really, really good day for business. But uh, ah, we haven't even had lunch. And for us, that's a big deal. But look what we got now. Yeah, they're going to make a huge difference, I think. Yeah. Whoop. You never saw anything. And Jamie actually offered to do those, so we're really grateful to Jamie for doing that. Yeah, big up Jamie. He's got a, a YouTube channel that we'll link to um, because it's well interesting. He's a professional, obviously, and very, very good at it. And I think Abord's the very least of uh, what he sets his skills to. Yeah. He's, he's actually, I think, he's going to start... He's got this really interesting old, I think like 1930s or 1920s camera, which like comes in this big sort of ornate wooden housing. The kind of one that someone would hide behind. Yeah, yeah. You know, imagine this. Stay very still. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of one. Well, I mean, everybody I think, knows what I mean. Yeah. He's got such a good workshop. Anyway, we'll put a link to his uh, videos below. He's, not only is he just a gentleman of the absolute highest order, he's a real expert and knows a lot about what he's doing with wood. There's some kind of like ultra marathon going on here and the runners go past the boat. And however long it, I mean, it must be, it's like some of these guys look like they've been running for days. I'm sure someone said 41 miles, that is 41 miles in. 
Got one miles in, here come a few more now. Motivational music for that troop. We should ha we should like cheer them on, or we should have something. Imagine if we had like gels to hand out. I know. If we'd have known about it. Hiya. Can I ask you how many miles you're doing today? Forty-one today. Forty-one. And which one? What miles this? I don't know. About thirty-nine. I think. Thirty-nine. Good luck. You're nearly there. Thirty-nine miles in. I wouldn't want to talk to me either. <laughs> Join us next week for when we tow Holly a little further up the canal to a village with a strange name of Oriwaz and we hang out there for a couple of weeks. <laughs>